If Jimmy Carter got a second term, if Jimmy Carter somehow defeated Ronald Reagan in 1980 and was re-elected president. So if Jimmy Carter was re-elected president, then what would change? First off, nothing. Nothing would really change. Because a lot of the horrible things that Ronald Reagan did, they were things that Jimmy Carter was already doing, and Ronald Reagan just put them on steroids. So if you want to make an analogy, it's very similar to saying a lot of the horrible things that Donald Trump did, they were things that Barack Obama was already doing to an extent. So Jimmy Carter was arming and funding the Mujahideen. He had started arming, arming and funding the Mujahideen because he wanted to oust the government of Afghanistan. And of course, um, because there was so much chaos in Afghanistan, thanks to Jimmy Carter, Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, took out leader Hafizullah Amin, and Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. And so Jimmy Carter continued funding and arming the Mujahideen, giving weapons and money to them because he wanted the Soviet Union out of Afghanistan. So he waged a proxy war against the Soviet Union through the Mujahideen. And of course, Ronald Reagan came along and continued Jimmy Carter's policy and continued funding and arming the Mujahideen. So Jimmy Carter was already doing that anyway. So if Jimmy Carter got a second term, he would probably just continue doing that. And also, Jimmy Carter um, can, helped Saddam Hussein. And Jimmy Carter is the one who gave Saddam Hussein the green light to invade Iran. And so Saddam Hussein and his Iraqi forces invaded Iran and used chemical weapons to do horrible atrocities on Iranian civilians. And so Jimmy Carter supported that. And Ronald Reagan was also supportive of that. So that wouldn't change. And in terms of the uh, support of Chun Du Han in uh, South Korea, Jimmy Carter was already supporting Chun Doo-hwan, and Ronald Reagan supported him too, so that would not change. And in terms of the domestic policies, Jimmy Carter, oh, and back to foreign policy, Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan were both horribly supportive of dictatorships and awful autocratic regimes, so that would not change. And so in terms of domestic policy, a lot of the deregulation that Ronald Reagan did, Jimmy Carter was already doing it too. Jimmy Carter deregulated the airline industry and the railroad industry and pretty much every industry. He deregulated every part of the government. Jimmy Carter was responsible for the corporatization and the neoliberalization of the Democratic Party. Jimmy Carter was screwing over workers and helping bust unions. Ronald Reagan, of course, destroyed unions in the country, so that would not change either if Jimmy Carter got a second term. So Jimmy, a second term Jimmy Carter would have just been the equivalent of a first term Ronald Reagan because he would have just done the same things anyway. And he was already doing the same things. Just look at the actual policies. These days, uh, Jimmy Carter has been whitewashed and rehabilitated as some sort of progressive hero. And people think that he's like um, Roosevelt or something. But people think Jimmy Carter is like FDR. <laughs> like it, that's just, 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 it's just horrible. And they just assume Jimmy Carter done so many good things out of office. Oh, ho, ho. who gives a... Like, come on. What they do after the presidency does not matter because what they do after the presidency, even if it affects a lot of people, it doesn't affect as many people as it did uh, when they were president. So Jimmy Carter building houses is totally insignificant compared to the fact that Jimmy Carter aided and abetted the Indonesian genocide of East Timor. Countless people died, and Jimmy Carter kept providing Indonesia weapons and weapons and weapons and aid and aid and allowed and just aided and abetted that genocide. Jimmy Carter continued supporting the Shah, the dictator of Iran, up until the last minute, and countless people suffered under the Shah's rule. Jimmy Carter gave the Shah amnesty and refused to apologize to the Iranians. And so that's why they took the hostages. And Jimmy Carter, arming and funding the Mujahideen, caused a lot of suffering and chaos in Afghanistan. Jimmy Carter deregulating every industry and screwing over the working class. That destroyed a lot of lives as well. So when you compare all the lives that Jimmy Carter destroyed to the very few lives that he helped after, he pres after his presidency, like, it doesn't compare because it's, there's such a big contrast. Like, Jimmy Carter hurt a lot more people than he helped, so stop rehabilitating Jimmy Carter. 
Just look at the policies and what he actually did when he had power. Don't look at, I mean, you can look at the things that he did when he doesn't have power, but look first at the things that he did when he actually had power and understand who he really is. A corporate neoliberal hack who started the corporate wing of the Democratic Party. It is thanks to Jimmy Carter that Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden were made possible.